Drivers behind the lines. Let's get this match underway in three, two, one, go! All right, that 30-second autonomous period has started. Those robots are pre-coded to do these things that you are watching right now. It looks like on the red alliance, we have a cone on that high node already, and a cube on that middle node, and a cube on that bottom node. Both alliances had a robot docked and engaged for the autonomous period, earning their alliances. It looks like... 8096 is going for a cone, racing over to their side of the field to place that on the red grid. Their lights burner are picking up a cube from the middle of the field, placing it on that red grid as well, trying to earn as many points as possible for their teams during this match with those game pieces. 829 places a cone on that high level node and races over back to their human player station to grab another game piece. 39.40 is zooming across the field, playing a little bit of defense while they're at it, trying to get to their human player station to pick up another game piece. 80.96 places a cone in that bottom level. While on the blue line, 67.21, it's going for a cone placement on their grid. As teams are going in the middle of the field to get more game pieces, there are some clashing ha happening. That big open space allows that to be a possibility in this game, adding all kinds of factors. It looks like 3940 is adding a cube to that bottom node. The Red Alliance almost has that bottom level filled up completely with game pieces. Right now the match is 71 to 64. Pretty close match, 47 seconds left. With Blue Alliance taking the lead. Over on the Red Alliance, looks like Cybertooth is going for another cube placement on the red grid. And that sound means the 30 seconds left teams may now dock and engage with their charging stations. It looks like on the blue line, 6721 is already working on that, waiting for other robots to join them up on that charging station. On the Red Alliance, 4485 and Cybertooth are also working on docking and engaging with the charging station. There's 10 seconds left. The Blue Alliance is docked and engaged with two robots, and the Red Alliance has got a triple dock and engaged. Three, two, one. And that was the lower bracket round three match 10.
And here are your scores for the latest playoff match. Your winners are the Red Alliance. With a score of 125 to 125, we will explain the tiebreaker right now. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Let me explain. So, what we have is a tie. And according to the manual, we need to go to the tiebreaker, tie-breaking criteria. The first sword is cumulative tech fouls. There were tech fouls on both alliances, so that is a tie. We go to the second, which is alliance charge station points. You can see that red won the tiebreaker on charge station. So that is why Ch or red is winning this match, even though the score is tied.